Today's topic, the Trojan War. Hello, and welcome to Secrets of the Ancient World. Today, we are discussing the Trojan War. Here is a copy of the Iliad by the Greek poet Homer, which chronicles the Trojan War. I will now read a passage. Achilles lunged at Demodius stabbed his temple and cleft his armor to his helmet and his teeth. None of the bronze plates could hold it, boring through the metal and skull, the bronze spear came to the point and pounded, the mullion braided and splattered all inside his cap. As we know, on the secret of the ancient world, we give you a first hand look at the events of the ancient world. Time, 1250 BC. The place, Troy. Now, please join us as we go back to the Trojan War. <coughs> and desolate battleground. It is the site of the Trojan War. We would now like to give you some background on the story. It all started with Helen, the most beautiful woman in the world. Though many desired her hand, she would give it to no one, no one at all. The Helen. Will you marry me? Helen, will you marry me? Helen, will you marry me? No way, stick it, good. Helen's father. Helen's father was greatly troubled. Oh no. If Helen marries one king, the other kings will get mad and attack Helen's husband. And then Ulysses came up with a plan. I know. What if we had all of Helen's suitors sign an agreement saying that they would protect Helen if another person were to marry her? Good idea, Great Ulysses. What is it? You know, I never noticed it before, but you have a great resemblance to your father. So Helen finally chose King Melanus, the king of Sparta, the most powerful of the Greek city-states. <coughs> Melanus and Helen lived happily for many years, until one day... Paris, a young Helen. Paris and Helen immediately fell in love. Oh, Helen, I'm going to take you to a big city, a beautiful city. You mean? Yes. Oh. <laughs> away to a boat and ran away together to Troy. Actually, when King Melanus heard about this, he was enraged. Send my army across the sea to Troy and destroy it! After a long trip at sea, 
the Greeks finally arrived at Troy. The Greeks' master tactician was Ulysses, the king of Ithaca. The hero of the Greek army was Achilles. It seems that no force on earth could kill him. Though the Trojans were greatly outnumbered, they fought bravely. The leader of the Trojan forces was Hector, the son of King Priam and the brother of Paris. The fighting between the Greeks and the Trojans was very fierce. The war lasted for ten long years, and in all that time, the Greeks could not penetrate the walls of Troy. Ha ha, you missed. During those ten years, many important things happened. Im important events such as the death of Hector. It all began when Achilles had an argument with the leader of the Greek forces. Then Achilles made this vow. I'm not fighting anymore! When Hector learned that the Greeks' mightiest warrior wasn't fighting anymore, he was quick to take advantage of the situation. Forces. But when Hector killed Long Achilles' best Trojan. friend, Achilles! Achilles wanted revenge! Hector. When Achilles had found Hector, Hector knew he would die that day. But he wanted to prolong it as long as possible, so he ran. After chasing Hector around the walls of Troy three times, Achilles administered the final blow! Oh! And on that day, Hector died. Perhaps the most tragic event of the Trojan War was the death of Achilles. To understand his death, we must delve into deep into his origin, back to his infancy. Achilles' mother was the sea nymph, Thetis. When Achilles was a baby, she dipped him in the river Dix. And in this way, all of his body became invulnerable, except for the single heel which she held him by. During the war, Paris had gained a reputation as being a coward. So he was determined to kill the Greeks' greatest warrior. He lied in wait, waiting to ambush Achilles. Achilles was walking by, and when he least expected it, Paris yeah. sprung! By sheer chance, the arrow struck exactly in Achilles' heel. And on that day, the Greeks' greatest warrior perished. He's true, but he was to pay for this with his own blood. One day, in battle, the Greek archer Philoctetes let fly with an arrow and... Paris was struck down.